I mean, I think all high school students, when they graduate, uh, should have enough proficiency in American civics to be able to pass the same exam that our naturalized immigrants have to pass. I think that'd be a good thing. And to do that, we obviously, you know, you can't just study the Constitution for a day or a week, and particularly when you're in high school. I mean, you really need a comprehensive approach so that you understand uh, what makes America unique and, and what principles uh, the country was founded on and how those principles really are enduring truths. Uh, they weren't just timepieces for, for that generation of Americans. And the founders understood this because when they created the Constitution, the pitch that they made for ratification, Alexander Hamilton in the first Federalist paper said it has fallen to us here in the United States to determine once and for all whether people really could govern themselves, whether you could have a society based off of uh, reflection and choice is what he said, or whether you'd always have what he called accident and force, which is basically uh, uh, various forms of despotism. And they really believed it fell to the United States to determine once and for all whether that could happen. And, and I think that they were right, and I think the Constitution that they created you know, was the best attempt at having a society of, by, and for the people, but also having institutions that could, that could withstand the long haul. Um, you know, not everything was perfect about it, but I think it was the best uh, attempt yet. And I think the, the more that our society is embracing those core principles about our rights come from God, not from government, government's role is that we create government to do certain limited things, primarily to uh, protect our God-given rights and create an open field and fair chance for people's enterprise, industry, and intelligence, as Lincoln said, uh, to flourish. Um, and those are kind of where we're supposed to land. And my fear has been that there's so little emphasis on that in the high schools and in the college. I mean, they have every type of zombie studies program you can imagine at these colleges. It's not as easy to find things where you're really studying some of these core principles, and not just what the founders did, but all the influences that led up to that point, and then how those uh, values have been um, applied throughout the years, uh, I think we need to do much better. And, and when you don't do that, and when you basically have ignorance reigning, uh, what you end up with is you end up with candidates like Octavia Cortez in New York. She's a socialist. Um, so she's running around. She's running around saying, well, capitalism's going to die and all this stuff, and, and that socialism is, is the wave of the future. And it's just as somebody who uh, lives in Florida, I can tell you, uh, we probably have more refugees from socialist countries, Cuban Americans, Venezuelans, Nicaraguans, than just about any state. And I can tell you, and certainly they can tell you, Socialism doesn't work. It's a failed philosophy.